In July, we took you to some of the hardest hit drought areas across South Dakota. Kelloland's Ariana Schumacher has returned to central South Dakota to catch up with some of those producers. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning, Perry. Fall harvest is in full swing across Kelloland. With the drought conditions this summer, some producers in the central part of the state were worried about having a decent crop. However, after catching some rainfall at the end of the summer and beginning of fall, their yields are doing better than originally predicted. Drought struck the state hard, but for producers like Todd Yackley, who experienced some late rains, his fall crops are doing better than he anticipated. I know there's going to be areas that it's not very good, but what we've been into, we've been pleasantly surprised. Um, some of the, the good areas in some of these fields has, has been really good. It's probably as good as we've, we've had in, in several years. The variability that he is experiencing is due to the soil types and rainfall in certain areas. It's a little bit all over the board. I think you're going to find that all over here in central South Dakota. Implementing no-till farming and crop rotation helped the crops significantly during the dry conditions. It's really that long-term soil building and it, it's really taken that evaporation loss out and making all the water go into soil and, and then come back out through a plant making something to use. The no-till farming in this area is, is, is king and without that we'd be in a world of hurt. Weather is still a concern as harvest continues. If there is severe weather, it could damage the crop. If we got a big wind and rain event here with, with the sunflowers maturing and we've seen it before where you know we get a 50, 60 mile an hour wind and, and you get a st drought stressed areas and you come out the next day and the sunflowers should be flat on the ground. Same thing can happen in the corn, you know, there's some stock quality issues on some corn. The current conditions are good for those who are planting winter wheat. Probably the best conditions I've ever seen for planting winter wheat in Central South Dakota. Moisture was real nice, and things, things really worked well. This year was very stressful on producers, and Yackley is thankful for the support of his family and employees. It was tough. It's, it's, um, but it's what we do, I guess. It's we know every day is a different day, and we try to make the best of it. And it's a lot of fun, but it's this year maybe not as much fun. But hopefully, Mother Nature straightens out a little bit. And always looking forward, the next year will hopefully be better. There's always next year when it comes to farming, right? Well, Ariana, which crops were hit the hardest and which ones are doing best? Well, the wheat was definitely hit the hardest during the drought, but the corn and the sunflowers are a little more drought tolerant, and with the recent rainfalls, they're able to finish strong.